Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, this is my first session based on Z transform, where I'll be explaining where we can utilize Z transform and how we can utilize Z transform in discrete domain. So all those things that I'll be discussing in this session. Now see, whenever we have been given with any continuous time signal, and if we want to observe what is the frequency response of that system in that case usually we go for fourier transform and laplace transform so if you have been given with any continuous time signal like you have continuous time signal f of t and you want to see frequency analysis of that signal in that case we should be studying fourier transform or one can go for laplace transform so to analyze continuous time signal we have fourier transform and laplace transform but whenever you have been given with discrete signal at that time linear time invariant system could be studied in frequency domain by using z transform so basically the analysis of discrete time linear time system can be done by using z transform and in case of continuous time linear time invariant system analyze in frequency domain by using fourier or laplace transform so this is the basic difference which we have now first i'll explain what is there which is there in continuous time and discrete time system so when we talk about continuous time signal or system so at that time time is continuous while in case of discrete time signal or system we have time which is discrete one so we don't have signal at all, all interval in discrete time you will be finding there is samples uh, with respect to time to analyze discrete signal signal in continuous time that is defined for all time while signal that is defined in discrete interval of time t so this is what the basic difference which is there in between continuous time and discrete time signal whenever we talk about continuous time signal at that time we have independent variable that is time t and independent variable is a sample which is denoted by n i'll explain that how it is there like see for example if you have been given with any signal that is continuous signal so you will be observing at all intervals you have signal so that is what continuous signal but in case of discrete signal if same signal is there in that case you will be finding trajectory of signal that will remain same but value that is coming at some intervals only so you don't have values at all time you will be having samples so samples will justify what is that signal so here if i say this is reference 0 then here minus 1 sample is there here minus 2 sample is there here minus 3 sample is there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 see this is how samples are there so this sample is been denoted by variable n and here signal is continuous with respect to time so one can say here value of magnitude for this given signal y of t that is happening at all interval of time so to analyze this signal in frequency domain we go for fourier transform or laplace transform while in case of this is a y of n signal that is discrete signal so here we have values at particular instant only so to analyze that we should be going for z transform to analyze that signal in frequency domain so this is what the basics which is there regarding z transform in next session i'll explain you how to apply z transform how to have inverse z transform and some bo more basic analysis of it and then after we will go for properties and examples based on z transform i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video